Yeah. You see the world through their eyes. Like I feel like you get a little something out of a person every time you sit and talk to them. You, you ever met somebody and you were like, man, you throwed off, but I almost get it. Yeah, a lot of people like that. <laughs> Comedians, man. Comedians, almost all of them are off in some way. Yeah. To want to be standing on stage and make people laugh, t tell stories. and Yeah. That's hard to do, man. No, yeah, bro, definitely. Like so I you, said, to want to do that, and, 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 be a then, and then being able to go from a story to another one, and mm -hmm. then bring it right back in where you, yeah. pick, you know, what I'm saying, like, yeah, yeah, you're a bad motherfucker, bro. It takes a lot of work, but it's just like rap or like anything else. It's just time and reps, and 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 you're you're like trying to make it better. Correct. You know, like looking at it all the time, fucking with it, twisting it around, changing it, adding to it, taking yeah. away, yeah. editing it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's but that's a thing like all things like all things when you really put your mind and your soul to it all things just You find where the the best version of it is what genre of music was like the first thing you heard and you were like This is the music. I want to listen to Man, I was real lucky that because uh, you fucked me up with the ghetto boys. Oh, I love ghetto boys That's man. sick. I love ghetto boys. Yeah, uh, like I said, I love 90s rap I love a lot of East Coast '90s rap. Like mm -hmm. I said, Cool G rap. You ever heard? Let me, you know, there's. Do you know who the brand new heavies are? No. The brand new heavies are they're like a jazz group that did collaborations with like Gangstar. They did a they did a thing called the Heavy Rhyme Experience. So it was this one CD they put out in the '90s, and they did like jazz music, but they had like play Death Threat. By Cool G Rap. One more. This is the last one, I promise. And Sorry, YouTube. We're going to have to snip, <laughs> snip, snip this out. Like, Pretty a fan of, you know, all that so you type think, of shit. You, you, you were just saying that you think rap came from jazz? Yeah, hell yeah. I, really? think, I think rap came from jazz. I mean, listen to it. You know what I'm saying? It's got like a groove. It's got that bounce. Yeah. You know? It's got that, that kick in there. But well, I think they made those those sounds specifically so people could rap over it, you know, yeah. with live music. but. A friend of mine, the Trump. Roots, yeah, holy shit, the Roots, the Roots had some fucking great chances. I can't, I can't wait. You know what? And I, 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 this, I feel like this is a perfect uh, podcast to say it on. I can't wait until rock it comes back because, like, I feel like rock is slowly dying, bro. And like, I want it to stay alive forever. Like, I can't wait till a good rock band come back out and they feel like a Three Day Grace or like a Crossfade. They feel like a you know, something like that. Do I think there's just cycles of things? I think if one killer band comes out now, a bunch will emerge. You know? Yeah, because they made it cool again. Yeah. But not yeah. but not because like they, they haven't been found. Like they're out right now. Probably. We just don't know who they are. Yes. Yeah. There's another me coming around somewhere. Probably. It definitely yeah. is. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. You know, you just you gotta find bro, they like prisons. Prisons are filled up with some badass motherfuckers, bro. Of course. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've met a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people in prison. Like, like, bro, they master that shit, you know? Like yeah. you said, like, they're with it every day, twisting it, pulling it, yeah. figuring it out, adding shit, taking it out. Like, no, 